we have been making good, good strides this video. But this intro ain't about that. This is me saying, if you want to earn 10 bonds, write your in-game name down below. And in a while, I will randomly pick a winner and I will make sure to give you these 10 bonds. I wish you luck with the giveaway and I thank you for watching. Let's jump right into it. Got ourselves another bank booster. Hell uh, yes. We just bought it for 100 mil cash, drop traded, as you do. Not bad at all. I would buy that other bank booster he's selling, but you don't have enough. Only 26 mil. It's gonna be interesting when I have no more money left to like exchange as it were like I'm out of cash that's gonna be a very interesting experience honestly but as you can see we're doing good and I'm currently editing right now and I realize I say oh we are doing good so many damn times it's kind of funny uh, anyway anyway off to the next clip as you do as you do we do this live audio now no more uh recording like a long time and it's honestly so refreshing honestly that was just 119 wood cutting and we're doing good progress here just still editing working on episode two and honestly by the time we get episode two out we'll have 120 wood cutting which will be amazing hopefully fingers crossed but i'm um, working working hard working hard 10 more mil xp not bad can't believe that we just got the agility pet doing up some daily scape which is honestly amazing i am actually pretty sure we don't have that many pets left to grind we only need the summoning pet let's see here thieving pet we can easily grab that Slayer pet, room pet, ace pet, hunter training is gonna suck. Uh, dungeon, ugh, I'll get that, but not happily. Gem eye, well, crafting. I'll probably do a bunch of gems during next double XP weekend or triple XP, and I can probably get that eventually. And then construction, again, triple XP. I'll probably just do teaks or something. Alrighty, and this is 100 million XP in my favorite skill. Not bad. Four more million XP, and then we can build a 120 wood cutting cape, which will be amazing. We definitely need to work on some cosmetic, and I'm thinking I really want to work with something with the golden slice and the wood cutting cape. I have some ideas, and then we can work with that. Because definitely I'm wanting some fashion scape right now. And there it is. One of my favorite skills. 120. Isn't it so damn pretty? I love that cape. Honestly. I just got to kind of work out an outfit with that. So I think I'm coming down with a bit of cold, but hopefully I can talk through this. Uh, I'm just about to finish this task, and after this task, we should have, uh, what do you call it? Karamja done, actually. Which is honestly pretty insane. Seven more to go. But the thing that I wanted to update on is even better we got bitter cap mushroom so we can uh place that in cataphys and hopefully we can get ourselves this giving us some uh thing to finish the mortiana so honestly we're doing good just fingers crossed this works because this is my 10th task. I just 
racked out like nine with Turiel right quick in like five minutes. I will take the water talisman whenever double XP comes again. That's better XP right there. That's some uh, good summoning XP right there. Don't want to leave that on the ground, you know? Uh, let's see here. How many more do I have to do? Just two. Cool. That should be it. There we go. That's completed Karazi. And if we go over to... I want to make sure there's as much chance as possible. Let's go take that. I don't really want the Ran or Avento, honestly. But if we go over to the Can of Fish Mushroom... We should be able to plant this and get ourselves a, some bitter cap if this grows proper, which is why I geared up to the max, hoping that the effect from everything, water and all that, will act in our favor. Fingers crossed. Bitter cap mushroom. Please, 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 please grow. Well, we're just doing up some quick Reaper dailies, and we got ourselves a Blade of Avarice. Kinda cool. It's a tier 85 melee weapon. Kinda useless. But it's cool, a collection log. We take that. Alrighty, so it only took fucking forever, but we finally got Balak. And we've been uh, doing up some other bit of dungeoneering tasks, as you can kind of see. Make Ramarot stun himself. We're going to work on doing that and then hopefully not need it, but go for a uh, sacrifice of Frost Dragon Bound on the prayer altar in a solo dungeon. Hopefully we do not need that for uh, completing hard mode because i'd love to just run through and do that on hard mode so successfully just ran in a circle and got him awesome so now i need to do the i either need to get the frost dragon bone next or i can unlock hard mode somehow so i'm gonna see uh who to talk to for hard mode Dunch. So apparently, all you have to do, ring a ring, kinship, go in here. Would you like to start a party? Yes. We go for here, confirm, complexity six. And then if I just hop down, enable hard mode? Yes. Alrighty, so we just uh, did our first hard mode floor here, and we figured out you can die, so we will just throw ourselves at this until we get through it. We also loaded up our Prometheum, so that's completely full of Prometheum goodness there. That is honestly amazing. I don't think we can bind anything else. Let's see if it hits find. A currently bound item must be destroyed before another can be bound. But honestly, I think this is our best case scenario for now. Until some primal gear gets unlocked or we get some really good necklace or cape or something. Or a bracelet, honestly. But other than that, yeah, we just keep on going. I'm probably going to find some poor sucker to do some duos with me eventually. Because I don't want to so solo this. I want to get this done to ASAP. It's so annoying. But yeah, we will uh, get this all done and said. Oh god, shoot me now. Why, why, why must it be there? But as you can see, our diary is looking fucking amazing. We only need one diary left for Diamondheim and it's really easy well once we find a frost dragon and an altar we win and hero win needs to be done which is just a pain in the ass I'll, I'll work on that a bit and 
yeah let's see what we're working with right now just to kind of see what requirements we're kind of missing show all requirements uh complete the fight kiln we need to do that unlock the reaper construct a tuscan mask we can work on that maybe this only needs like 30 more it's not bad at all unlock all mirror potion recipes i believe i need more dungeon tokens so it's good we're doing dungeoneering need to do this ancient blueprint which son of a bitch okay uh elite dungeon diaries this is gonna be the scary part that's gonna be scary as all hell but we will work on it purchase all farm upgrades i've been eating zygos so we'll be good with that and qualify as guild master of the archaeology campus we're making good efforts on that so honestly we're doing really really good here and then oh my god look at all this stuff here uh, complete all 60 heart wait that's all trimmed oh i don't need to do it yet oh 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 happy days we're only going for comp right now we will have to do that at a future time as an iron when we die but we don't have to do that oh my god that that, that makes me happy Oh my god. So I literally just need to get a frost dragon. Somehow. I don't know how, but we will. Alrighty. So we farmed up a lot of Zorosian uh, insignias and Surge Age Iron, as you can see. Uh, Grace of the Elves is a beautiful item, let me tell you. So now it is time to go and shove all of... Look how many tetras I have too. That'll be fun to farm those five tetras. We'll do that after. But we're going to take these two and basically do up these stacks of items here. And then we will be able to uh, level up at the qualification. So let's run these through. And as you can see, 68, 68. And if we go over to the archaeology guild... We can go to check qualifications and congratulations. We are now an associate. Oh God. We have to sell five more mystery, finish 20 unique, 15 more unique uh, collections. Okay. So that's going to be fun. And then we can finish off and... I believe I could be wrong, but I believe we can make a sifter now. So apparently you've earned it and discovered a new invention and you learn it at the arch, the invention work bo box. But when you go to make it, it says you need the 50k chronos. Which we are 20k short. Uh, this is going to be fun to grind this. Alrighty. So we're just uh, chilling. And going for some green dragon hide. For possible. Uh, grind for. Uh, what do you call it? Triple XP weekend. Maybe bank some of that. And we got ourselves some pernix shafts. Which is cool I guess. Uh <laughs> It's sad looking at this and going, yeah, there's no use of this. Wait, I don't think so, unless uh, Augmented Ceranic needs it, but I don't think so. I would have to look into it. But yeah, we're just killing some necks and chilling. So yeah, apparently Pernex does give, uh, what do you call it, uh, works to make Elite Ceranic, so that'll be... Really nice, really nice. And we just got ourselves an Armadillo Hill, which is honestly a collection log, which I believe completes the collection log for this, if I'm not mistaken. Also, Slayer is going very, very well. We're about to get 120, and that's going to be amazing. And to Criara, that's everything from this, minus the War Priest, which so we could get the pet title if we go in uh kill everything which honestly shouldn't take too too long 
And just AF Kang, and we got ourselves 50 million magic XP. Nice. And, uh, update. Nearly 100 mil Slayer. Honestly, fucking amazing. And there's Big Up. Only 4 mil more XP, and we have ourselves another 120. Alrighty, so I got kind of bored and just wanted to speed it up, so I did some Slayer skill dummies. I've only got this one, and there is 120 Slayer. Hell yeah. And get pretty much the best cape here. Over here it should be. No, uh, Duradil, if I'm not mistaken. Can I buy a skill cape? Okay, that seems reasonable, and it is so pretty. That is 120 Slayer. Another step on comp, honestly. Now we just have Dungeoneering and Archaeology to do, which is just absolutely nuts. And you can see our XP is just going through the roof for us. 2.2, nearly 2.3 billion XP. Am I eligible for bonus? Yes. All right, let's open these up right quick. Cool. Okay, so we got a ton of stuff here. If we deposit that all in there. And 23 fortunates plus possible dupes. And we're going to drop what we can into here. Enter building mode. Again, I like to collect this. Not everyone does this. But I like collecting it. Open up the treasure chest, and let's see what we got here. Oh, quite a few new unlocks. You'll love to see it. Make sure it's not trying to pull from a, another for some stupid reason. I've had that happen before. And let's try it again. Nope. That's looking pretty full, actually. Looking good, looking good. We're gonna just kill up all this. this is, I, I, I know this is really dumb, okay? But the idea that I have eight 120 skills is nuts to me. Like, all these are like, freaking amazing that I have. And that's just, it's just nuts to me. 8 120 skills. Yeah, uh, we're going to be working on crafting. Yep, that's, that's definitely an outfit. Um, yeah, quite a few of these skills. Once the next triple XP comes in, we're probably going to gain out summoning. And we're working on archaeology, so that's going to be coming by pretty soon, actually. Every so often I cook up my sailfish, so that shouldn't be too far away either. Uh, agility, uh, triple XP weekend. I've got full silver hawks right now. That'll be nice. And mining I might go do up during triple XP. Yeah, I work on 120. Anyway, um, I'm going to keep grinding. And we now have 120 Slayer, which is really f amazing. I was not expecting to get that, but yeah. Yeah, we have that now. I, yeah, we have that. <laughs> did I do my dailies yet? No, I did not. Now I have. <laughs> I missed one. That's hilarious. Anyway, I'm going to keep grinding these out. Alrighty, whilst grinding out some uh, archaeology, we came across a few tetras and we've done um, six ancient caskets here. And we're ready to hopefully level up a little bit and get some XP. Oh shoot, the one thing that I forgot to do is we're going to want to vote for some extra XP. Well, 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 well worth it. 15 minutes, yes, perfect. Because these XP tomes I think can be boosted and I will take 50% more 
So every two, I get a whole nother tome, essentially, which is beautiful. Anyway, let's open these up, and hopefully we can get the Matic. Okay. A distorted key. Cool. Another distorted key. Hydrix bull tips. Nice. From an ancient thing. I think it's at a... Uh, the bank. Which is kind of annoying that it puts all this crap in your inventory. But... Eh, it works. It works. Alright, we have three distorted key attempts. We have all the luck effects going at once. Firstly, let's get this tomes on there and get ourselves quite a bit of XP. And then we can open up our hit study desk. Oh, that is about 11 million XP right there. That is beautiful. Level 116, only four more levels to go. That is gorgeous. There we go, 117, three more levels to go until comp, well, true max at least. And then we have to work on the worst skill in the game. <laughs> and let us open up these ancient caskets. Uh, what is it right here? Display case. See if we can get some f good stuff here. Did not fit in the case. Your key did not fit in the case. And your key did not fit in the case. Damn it. We... That was a good boost in XP though. That was fun. Alright, I think I'm, we're going to end the episode there. We've gotten lots of gains, grinds, and all that. Uh, next episode, we're going to be facing Triple XP Weekend, and we're going to be doing a lot more gains. Next episode, tons more gains to be seen. You haven't even seen the half of it, honestly. Uh, thank you for watching, and again, for the Bond giveaway, make sure you write your in-game name down below. I hope you have a good one. Take care. Peace.